My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic and doing really well. And today I'm viewing Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Merle. And I love how the perfumer's name is on the bottle. This is 250 pounds for 100 ml, 172 for 50 ml, and this was 122, and 10 ml was 49 pounds. The notes are rose, blackcurrant, raspberry, and clove. The base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, and frankincense. Do we have our bottles of Frederick Marle, Portrait of a Lady, or we engage with our high self? Let's get testing. So I'm re-reviewing this because I deal with sort of dry downs and longevity now. So I think I've tested quite a few Frederick Marle fragrances and some of them were quite unwearable actually. The Night, you know, it was a thousand pounds for a hundred mil. I kind of think at the core of it, if you're going to buy fragrance, it has to be wearable. You know, that's what I always try to do. You know, you have to, people just want to smell good. For this amount of money, I'm expecting to have longevity projection, interest and skilled perfumery. This is a really skilled perfumer dealing with very complex, difficult raw materials to make something that smells finished. This is absolute unisex because I absolutely think that uh, men can wear floral fragrances. Interestingly, the comments that I get from women when, when I wear one of my fragrances is all the floral fragrances and compliments that I get from other men are when I wear citrus fragrances and that I've always found sort of perplexing the really heavy duty rose fragrances like my oxytocin luna women always ask me what it is so this can be worn totally by men I think this is clever perfumery and this is ambroxin and turpinous petuni which gives you a dry metallic animalistic ambery backbone super clever musk accord and i've spoken about before musk accords are so important generally speaking a perfumer wouldn't use one musk on their own i've never done that you get a different feel with a musk accord and the best type of perfumery generally is three to four types of musks in there. One to deal with the top note, one to deal with the background, one to deal with sort of the feel of it, whether you're smoothing it out, whether you're drying it out, whether you're giving an animalistic feel, whether you're cleaning out the base, whether you're rounding out, whether you're smoothing it. All those sort of feelings are to do with musks. And I really respond to perfumery, which is similar to myself, which is really complex, uh, mathematical uh, precision where the muscle cores are chosen in a different way. This is harsh and metallic. It does sort of smell Middle Eastern. And the musket they're using, which is quite apparent, which is one called Hannibalide. And Hannibalide is, smells of um, hot irons, smells of ceramic. You can dose it quite high and it doesn't flatten down a formulation. And it gives a modern, up-to-date feel within a formulation. Then this has a musket that helps to do with the bloom of the fragrance. And the bloom is the top note that helps to give that elevation and softness and sort of um, the feeling of effervescence on the top. This absolutely has the um, rose-like aroma chemical, the uh, phenyl ether alcohol, the citronelle. I love the uh, sweetness of the ylang ylang and the smoothness of the sandalwood. Now this, when I spoke in other reviews, there was um, ones that were metallic and smooth and I really didn't like it because the smoothness was sort of pulled out a little bit too much and it was jarring. This has smoothness running through it, but it's so palatable. The jammy nature is the ketones, the raspberry ketones combined with the ylang ylang and that the smoothness is sort of like the uh, nitro musk very very nice on to my final thoughts the uh, first two marks are legal safe compliant absolutely this gets a uh, two or two packaging is like phenomenal and compliant uh, next two marks are the price it's sort of top end of where i'd like to see it if i'm honest with you longevity and projection this is phenomenal this has a distinctive portrait of a lady thing so you kind of know when this is around and i've smelt this around I, I quite like it that dry rose feel so yeah i'll give it a two out of two next four marks whether i like it yeah i love this i think it's awesome and i kind of love it more because i really admire the perfumer on this this is really technical brilliant perfumery and to make a perfume smell finished is really taxing and I think it's uh, I always have a reverence for perfumes who can make something smell finished out of lots and lots of different things that's like, like a skill isn't it so I'm going to mark it a 9 out of 10 the one mark comes off 
purely because it's uh, missing something. But I think it's awesome. I love the smoothness in this, actually. I think the sm- all the smooth ones, which are the Lyric Man, The Night, and uh, Savage, Elixir, they all have that smoothness. This is smooth in this, and I kind of, I really love this. So hope you like that review. Thumbs up and subscribe. More fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. Hope staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.